mine seems to be in that canyon. But there's no road leading into it. I see a road in the canyon, Mr. Gray. But how do we get to it from here? We've got to reach it somehow or we'll be too late to save Fred. Wait. We can handle Cromwell. Better send a reception committee to meet Cook. You're right. Peterson! Bill Cook's heading here in a car with Gray and Davis. Take the boys and stop them. They're going to rescue Cromwell, eh? Now, ain't that too bad. Grant? A car just turned off the road toward the canyon. But don't start the fireworks yet. They might not find the road leading to mine. Come on, get ready, boys. of Cromwell. There comes the other car. There's a wrecked car down there. It looks as if it just happened. It's Fred Cromwell. I'll get the car. Turn around. Davis. At least we kept them away from the mine. We better get back and radio the black case. He'll find a way to stop them. Well, put it over on you, didn't you? They didn't be calling the Black Ace. I ain't that radio. He's coming too, all right. I was afraid I'd be too late to warn you. You mean the men at the mine knew we were coming? Then someone at the tavern must have tipped them off. Now I'm sure that the Black Ace has his headquarters at the tavern. Your daughter feels sure that Dr. Flint's office is the headquarters of the Black Ace. We shouldn't have left her at the tavern alone. We'd better hurry back. Right. There's no telling what the Black Ace will do to stop you from building that dam, Mr. Gray. Come on.
I'm going out on a case, Martin. I can't tell how long I'll be gone. Okay, Doc. Station B, calling the Black Ace. Station B, calling the Black Ace. Station B, calling the Black Ace. I thought I'd find you here, Martin. I'm warning you for the last time. You keep out of my affairs. Your affairs? Let me tell you this, Flint. The millions in that gold mine belong to me. And I don't intend to let you or Gray or anyone else stop me from getting them. If you have any right to that mine, why don't you prove it? You know very well why I can't prove it. So you still believe that I destroyed the deed to that mine after your brother died? He didn't die. You killed him. Why, you... Now walk out of here. in there. Drop that gun. Fred! Dr. Flint is the black ace. Nothing of the sort. I was only... Just shut up, Dorothy. Are you sure? Yes. He just shot Mr. Martin. Dr. Flint shot Martin? And Martin fell through that door. Nothing down here. Leads to the lobby downstairs. What did you do with him? Miss Gray knows I've never left this room, and Martin wasn't killed. Find him, and you'll find the black ace. How could he have gotten out of here? The door was locked. There's another secret way out through the fireplace. Someone came through here, all right. 
Maybe he went through the hall. And then Martin accused Dr. Flint of murdering his brother. Now I understand why you've been trying to put me out of business. When the dam is built, that mine of yours will be under 50 feet of water. But I haven't any mine. And I tell you why I'm not the Black Ace. What's the use of denying it when we all heard you giving orders to your men over the radio? You never heard anybody speak over that radio. That's just a receiving set. Now, maybe you'll believe me. Station B, Carter standing by. We've been trying to get hold of you, Chief. I wasn't in a position to even answer your call. We got some bad news for you. Cromwell and Cook... I know, you let them escape. They're right here in the tavern. Now listen carefully. I want you and Collins... <laughs> hello, hello, Chief. Something's happened to the Black Ace. Get your plane started, Mitchell. We're going to the tavern. Did Martin go? Down the hall. Bill's after him. Come on, Mr. Grave. I'll try and head him off. Let's search the room. He may be hiding in one of them. That's a good idea. You search down here, and I look upstairs. Where did that shot come from? The Black Ace has killed him. He must have escaped with a secret passage. I heard a shot. So did I. The Black Ace just killed Dr. Smith. I've got you covered. You slipped up when you came back to murder Flint. I didn't kill him. I don't know what you're talking about. Get upstairs. Don't like me. You're not getting 
getting away this time. Get clear of them, Chief. Black Ace has killed him. He must have escaped with a secret passage. I heard a shot. So did I. The Black Ace just killed Dr. Fitz. I've got you covered. You slipped up when you came back to murder Flint. I didn't kill him. I don't know what you're talking about. Get upstairs. outside, Chief. Go ahead. I'll stop Cromwell. Where's Martin? He went through that door. Did he get away? Where's Martin headed? Martin? Don't stall. You know who we mean. The Black Ace. I didn't know his name was Martin. None of us knew the Black Ace. 
Then why did you help Martin get away? As I came in, I heard you call him the Black Ace. Martin got away, Mr. Gray, but we caught one of his men. What's the Black Ace after? Why is he trying to put me out of business? I can answer that. The Black Ace is working a secret gold mine. What's that to do with the dam I'm building? While I was being held prisoner at the mine, I discovered that if the dam is ever completed, the mine would be flooded. But Martin claimed that the secret mine belonged to him. <gasps> Another warning from the Black Ace. Unless you stop all work on the dam at once, the mystery squadron will strike again. The Black Ace. Dad, what are we going to do? Here's the man who threw it. Johnson. I saw him through the window just as the dot was thrown. Tried to get away. Ridiculous. I was just coming into the hotel when this man grabbed me. You can't talk yourself out of this, Johnson. We all know you've been trying to get the contract to build a dam away from Mr. Gray. You'd do anything to prevent him from finishing it. So you still think I'm the Black Ace, eh? I'm convinced that you had something to do with these attacks against me, Johnson. But I don't believe that you're the Black Ace. We seem to have such a clear case against Martin. I'm not so sure of that, Mr. Gray. We haven't proven that Martin's the Black Ace. But I do know that Johnson threw this dart. One thing is certain... The Black Ace is either Johnson or Martin. Right. Mr. Gray, you and Davis hold Johnson here so he can't communicate with anybody. Bill and I are going to the cave of the Mystery Squadron. What do you expect to do there? If Martin is the Black Ace, he'll be heading there, since we chased him out of the tavern. Furthermore, Bill and I are going to put those mystery planes out of commission so they can't be used to attack the dam again. It's a big order, boys. Lots of luck, Fred. Thanks. Have you got a gun, Davis? Well, don't let them out of your sight. Don't worry until the sheriff arrives. Do you want me to land at the mine or the cave, Chief? The mine! Okay. It's important that I get the sheriff, operator. Please try again. Dad, I'll run out and see if I can find it. All right, Dorothy. No answer yet, operator? Thank you. Operator, operator. Got a match, Davis? Stop him, stop him, I see. I yes. can't see. <laughs> you got the flyer, Mr. Gray. I meant to get Johnson. Come out of there, Johnson. Doesn't seem to be anybody in there. There must be a secret way out of here. Hey, I'd better warn the boys that Johnson's escaped. He may try to radio his men and set a trap for Fred and Bill. Go ahead, Davis. The sheriff will be here at any minute to help me find Johnson. Move out three, heading this way. Okay. That must be Carter and Mitchell coming back with the chief. Who's that with Mitchell? Yeah, wonder where Carter is.
comes the boy. Boys, this is the chief. The Black Ace. I'm sorry we didn't recognize you, chief. You know, this is the first time we've ever seen you without your... Uh... We uh, got in a jam and had to take off in a hurry. Let's get to the mine. Did you get much stuff out today? Well, you know the stamp mill's broken down, Chief. Oh, oh yes, I... I forgot. All right, men. Get back to your work. Bracken, I thought there was something wrong about this deal. Station B, Collins standing by. Trommel and Cook are at the cave. Get over there, quick. I'll meet you there. Right, Chief. Well, that seems to call your bluff, Martin. What makes you so sure that was the Black Ace? This happened once before. Cromwell used the radio to trap us. How do you know he isn't trying it again? Maybe you're right. We'll soon find out. You're going to the cave with us. The real Black Ace will be there and we'll have a showdown. That suits me. Rack and get that car started. doing here? Johnson escaped. He's the Black Ace, all right. And he'll set a trap for you and Fred. Fred's already up at the cave. He'll need help. One apiece. our chance to get Cromwell and Cook. Drop those guns. All right, boys. Did you see who slugged you? No. Lucky for him, I didn't. 
I'll see if Davis is all right. Whoever knocked you out is still around here somewhere. We'll take no more chances. You're right. I'll keep watch while you and Bill take care of the planes. That's a good idea. Come on, Bill. Say, how about locking these fellows in the cave? Then I wouldn't have to keep my eye on them. Put them in the steel room. Gee, I hate to wreck these swell planes. All we need to do is to put those flamethrowers out of commission. Okay, I'll shove them out and you bust them off. Push her all the way out, Bill. I didn't know it was loaded. I'll let Conwell's car, all right. the black ace.
was caught, all right. Stay here. We'll be shot if we don't. Save the planes before they all take fire. Not a chance. The gas tanks will explode. Get out quick. Our only chance is to steal room. Tried to get out of here when the fire started. If he did, I'm afraid we'll never see Davis anymore. Well, we'll never be able to stop Gray from building that dam now. We still got two planes at the mine. Go back there and await my orders. All right. You two stay here until the fire dies down and make sure that Cromwell and Cook are done for. Yes, sir. Those are two of the prisoners that Davis was guarding. We can find out from them what happened to him. Sure, if they don't shoot us first. We won't give them a chance. You duck behind that wreckage. There's not a chance of Cromwell or Cook still being alive. You're right. But the chief told us to make sure. Around here somewhere. Where's Davis? You'll never see him again. The Black Ace got him. What has he done with him? <laughs> Your guess is as good as mine. Don't try to hold out on us. Let him go, Bill. They don't know. The Black Ace never lets his men in on his plans. Get into that steel room. I'm not taking any chances of you using the radio to give the alarm. Bill, we've got to rescue Davis. We don't know where they've taken him. Johnson wouldn't dare take him to the tavern. There's only one place left. The mine. Yeah, but how are we going to get there? They took our car. We'll have to try and use one of the planes. Those wrecks? This is the Black Aces plane. 
I hope she'll still fly. The motor looks okay. I think if we tighten up these struts, you'll make it. Happy landing. Thanks, we're a couple of his men. He's the black ace, all right. He'll never recognize me in this outfit, but you had better stay here. What's up? Why did you land? Your game's up, Johnson. Cromwell! Where's Henry Davis? What have you done with him? Davis? How should I know where he is? Because you're the black ace. Your men took him away. That's ridiculous. I'm looking for the black ace myself. You can stop looking right now. Here's his disguise. That doesn't prove that I'm the black ace any more than your outfit proves that you're a member of the mystery squadron. Now, I can explain all you about... You can do your explaining to the sheriff. Take him to San Juan, Bill. Ain't you going with us? No. I'm going to the mine to find Henry Davis and to stop them from making another raid on the dam. Heading this way. One of our ships? What? I thought they were all blown up at the cave. Who's in it? It's a chief. Well, it didn't take the Black Age long to get another plane. There are three planes to attack the dam with. Like his plane's in bad shape. Boys, run out one of those ships and warm her up. We won't need to attack the dam. I can use Davis to make Gray stop building it. Well, that sounds good. Why didn't you bring him here to the mine? You know better than to question my methods. We're here to take orders. I'm sorry, Chief. 
Black Ace calling. Station B. 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 Station B standing by. Put your best man into the two planes that are left to attack the dam at once. Don't leave there until everything is completely wrecked. Make sure there's no chance of Stephen Gray ever finishing the job. Right, Chief. Starting now. Plane's ready, Chief. You men come with me. Grab him! He's not the black ace! I'll stop him. So worried about you? Has Bill been here, Mr. Gray? No. Anything wrong? Plenty. Give me the sheriff's office. Quick. What happened, Fred? That's what I want to know. Where's Davis? Didn't he meet you at the cave? Yes. And the black ace got him. The black ace? Hello, Sheriff. This is Fred Cromwell. Is Bill Cook there? What? You haven't seen him. He was bringing Johnson to you. Johnson is the black ace. Yes, if I find him, I'll turn him over to you. I knew that Johnson had got away from Bill the minute I heard the black ace broadcasting. The black ace. It came from upstairs. Johnson must be up there. And we just received one of his mystery warnings. When I get my hands on that bird, Johnson, I'll teach him to shove me out of a car going 50 miles an hour. come from? I threw it.
That proves every time we got one of these warnings, the Black Ace has been right in the room with us. Black Ace calling. Station B. Black Ace calling. Station B. Quick! Find that radio. Black Ace calling. Station B. Here it is in the suitcase. I put Station B's radio out of commission. The Black Ace calling. Station B. The Black Ace calling. Station B. Station B. Bracken standing by. Why didn't you answer? Cromwell busted our radio, Chief. I just got it fixed. Send my men to the tavern at once. They're already on their way, Chief. We had a hunch Cromwell would go there. We'll have to act quickly. The Black Ace's men are heading here, and he's in the tavern. Johnson, in there! Head him off downstairs! You got away from me once, but you won't do it again. I tell you I'm not the Black Ace. We can settle this thing in short order. During the attack on the dam, the Black Ace was shot through the right arm. Let's have a look at that arm, Johnson. Then he's not the Black Ace. The Black Ace's men are heading here, and he's in the tavern. Johnson, in there! Head him off downstairs! You got away from me once, but you won't do it again. I tell you I'm not the Black Ace. We can settle this thing in short order. During the attack on the dam, the Black Ace was shot through the right arm. 
Let's have a look at that arm, Johnson. I'll have you three in a second, Davis. How did you get here? The Black Aces men brought me with them. some prisoners at the Mystery Squadron's cave for Fred and Bill when the Black Ace captured me. I knew that, Davis, but I didn't know where he had taken you. They held me at the mine until they brought me here. Did you find out anything about the Black Ace while you were there? Yes. He called his men and ordered them to attack the dam. You heard that over his radio? Yes, I was tied up on the floor right near it. Say, we'd better hurry. Why are you lying, Davis? Lying? I don't understand. You weren't at the mine because I was there and received that message over the radio myself. You were? Yes. Davis, you're the Black Ace. <laughs> Fred, are you crazy? Even if you don't believe I was held at the mine, that doesn't prove I'm the Black Ace. Possibly not. But I just found the Black Ace's outfit in your room. <gasps> it's a warning from the Black Ace. You must be mistaken about Davis. The Black Ace is still at liberty. On the contrary, it clinches the case against Davis. Every time we've received one of these mystery warnings, the Black Ace has been right in the room with us. I'll show you how he works it. You're under arrest, Davis. Just a minute, Sheriff. No one even saw me throw the dart. It could have been anyone in this room. What about Johnson? There's been plenty of evidence to prove that he's the black ace. Yes, my actions might have looked suspicious. But I had a very good reason for everything that I did. As you all know, there's a secret passageway leading from that closet up into my room and also into Dr. Flint's office. Who built it? Martin, the former owner of the hotel, and myself. 
You see, we suspected Flint of having stolen the secret of a gold mine from Martin's brother. But why should you be interested in trapping Flint? Because Martin was my brother-in-law, and he and I would have inherited the mine. Now I see why Martin killed Flint. Martin didn't kill Flint. They were both murdered by Henry Davis, the black ace, who would stop at nothing to hold on to the mine which he had stolen. How did you know Mr. Davis was the black ace? Well, I first suspected him when he accused me of throwing one of his darts. Let's see your arm, Davis. What's his arm to do with the black ace? Everything, Sheriff. The black ace was shot in the right arm during the first raid on the dam. Roll up your sleeve. I admit I have a wound on my arm, but I received it when the black ace's men tried to kill me. I'm not afraid to show you. Now I'm sure that Mr. Davis is the Black Ace. I saw this chain and key on the Black Ace's arm. When? It was the day you forced the Black Ace's plane down near the construction camp. Dad and I saw the fight in the air and... He mustn't escape. Go in to help Cromwell. in these bushes. Spread out, boys. Spread out. What was that noise, Frank? I didn't hear anything, miss. Looks like he got away. Maybe I can spot him from the air. Tell Dad I've taken the plane. working my way to the front cockpit and getting control of the plane. And ever since then, I've been on the lookout for anyone wearing a chain bracelet like that. But your story doesn't prove a thing, Miss Gray. Nearly all flyers wear a chain like this to carry their identification disc. Bill Cook's wearing one right now. You're pretty smart, Davis, but it won't work. 
Give me that key. We all know that the Black Ace sent orders to his men from a secret broadcasting set hidden there in this tavern. I believe that this key will unlock the secret to that radio. Watch him closely, Sheriff. on the other side of this panel. Now I understand how easy it was for Davis to slip in here and radio his orders to the mystery squadron. Well, I can't see why Hank Davis would want to do a thing like this. He was your father's right-hand man, and we thought he was our pal. That's easy. Davis was taking millions of dollars worth of gold out of that hidden mine. If the dam is ever completed, the mine would be under 50 feet of water. I can't tell you how sorry I am, Johnson, the way I've misunderstood your motives. <laughs> ah, forget it. And you can feel free to call on me for anything I can do to help you finish the dam on time. <laughs> After all, we contractors have got to stick together. <laughs> now, don't try to follow me. Dorothy's playing. We can take him in that. You'll crash if you take off without warming up the motor. I've got to risk it or I'll lose the black ace. Contact. Contact. Well, Mr. Gray, that's the end of the Black Ace and his mystery squadron. I guess Bill and I'll be shoving off in the morning. Yeah, we'll be just in time for the air meet at El Paso. And besides, I'm almost out of jelly beans. No such thing. From now on, you boys have a job with me for life. Thanks, Mr. Gray, but I'll keep you well supplied with jelly beans, Bill. Well, that's something. How about you, Fred?
I don't see how we can refuse, do you, Bill? Ha, 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 ha,